Hello everyone, I am the Rabble Rouser, and this is Xenonauts Part 3, and this is straight off the curtails of Part 2, because Part 2 kind of ended on a cliff note, because as you can see, I'm currently on a mission, and there is an alien spacecraft right here. We've got five people, one of which is hidden behind this tree, about ready to swarm the area, and we also got three more over here that are going to scout the area for more aliens. Now, I've already used up all of my time units getting here, so we're going to end our turn right now. And we are setting up this crew to be ready to kill the people inside there. And ideally, I would like them to be able to be ready to shoot whoever comes out if they do. And as you see right there, if you see a yellow square, that means that it's invading their time units and they won't be able to fire. So we're just moving him there. This guy, however, will have to take all of his units to get to where I want him to be. So hopefully they do not come out and kill him. With her, I'd like her behind the tree. Um, she is ready to reserve 28 points to shoot. Actually, I'm going to put that to snap so she can at least shoot twice if need be. So those guys are set up. Then we got the rest of these. Um, for her, I think I'll have her go up here. Good exploration. Have a crouch and look that way. Her, let's see if we Oh, just barely behind the trees. That's a very good cover for her. Him. Yeah, it may look like that I really don't care about these three, but honestly, the exploration of the rest of the map is very important. <laughs> Alright, looks like we got one out of the two that are still in the ship. Now, another bonus of the shield person. Oh, um, oh boy. Apparently you didn't recover all... That's right. Um, it's the fact that if you reserve time units, it actually takes into the rest that you have. So, we're going to have them sit by. We're going to have these guys explore a bit more. Oh, that's the edge of the map. Well, I guess everything else is just over here. Another handy thing to know is the fact that you can just click on other people's profiles. Or one, two, three, four, five. If you know who they are, which I'm not too familiar with, you can just click their profile and just click wherever you want them to go. If you want them to reconvene at a certain place, it's pretty easy to do. Alright, there's no activity from the aliens, so everyone here should have full time units. Now, a good thing about having a shield in a group is the fact that if you need to open up the front of an alien ship and the aliens have a shooting action ready, they can go up to it and if the aliens do shoot and if they were to have connect, the shield is there to prevent them from taking damage. So now we just are going to unload on this guy. We are going to make him last. Alright. Something he can't hit. Because there is ship in the way. So we're going to cancel that. What we are going to do, however, 
Let's see how many time units. 35 time units for her to throw a grenade. So we have 55 left. After moving here, we should be able to throw that on him. Decent accuracy and be able to get out of the way. But I'm a horrible person, so I want results now. So I'm going to shoot a rocket at him. And in fact, I'm going to crouch when I do it to increase accuracy. Alright, so as you can see, all the aliens are dead. We have no casualties on our side. Uh, all the civilians were none. And our sniper has been promoted to a sergeant. And we got uh, all of our things here. There are some things that were destroyed, probably because of the rockets. But hey, mission was a success. Let's get back. And let's do some fort management, because everyone loves that. And it looks like we have the autopsy of the new aliens that we saw in this last mission. And we have the ability to research alien biology, which is always a good thing to have. But unfortunately, we're currently full up on researching, so can't exactly do that right now. And we haven't learned anything with the engineers, so can't do much there either, unfortunately. So right now, we just... Oh! Our laboratory is finished. And they can... Or workshop, so that means we can hire more scientists and more engineers. So we're going to take advantage of that. It costs more money to hire them, and as you can see right here, it costs money per month to afford them all. And even though we haven't really made anything, we are going to want to have more engineers. Because like I've said, we have things that our alien technology, you want to build a lot more of them than you really need so you can sell them to countries and make more money from it. And we have a successful mission that we finished and everything is back in base so this is going to be another save. And as of right now we're just skipping time. We got uh, radar arrays as you can see, our circle has gotten much bigger. And we found a UFO. We're going to launch someone to kill it. Alright, they have landed, so... We have to wait for them to leave. Unless we're able to bombard them. Well, we can put another save up and do a very risky thing. We can intercept with our dropship. But if they move, they have an easy way to shoot us down, which... Alright, this is a fully intact UFO. This mission is going to be much, much harder than the other two missions we have done. So, yeah, this is going to be a big fight, and I know for a fact that we're going to run out of time before we can see the end of this combat. Now the good thing about shields is it's never a bad idea to have them lead out. And it looks like since I played this game they've actually added more maps because there's not this many here before. 
one thing they did not have going for them was it was pretty limited in the amount of maps they did have. Oh! Well, with something like that, that means that there's an alien nearby. So we really, really don't want to be near that. In fact, it'd probably be best to explore it from this side. Usually I'd like to have a heavy weapons guy on one side and a rocketeer on the other side, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. In fact, these two and these two are going to be focusing on this area. The rest of them are going to be focusing over in this area and expanding. Well, that's not exactly fair now that I think about it. A shield guy and a scout. I don't know, who's this guy? Yeah. Yeah, this guy is going to be going with them, so... I've already decided. So we're gonna bring him over here. Her, sorry. Have a crouch. And... And I turn here. And that noise right there means that they are firing on civilians. I almost forgot to save. I like to save before a mission starts because if it gets to the point where more than half of people have died, then you can you pretty much should just start over. <laughs> Good job. Alright, you don't have a med kit. You do, fortunately. Now it all depends on if you can get there before she bleeds out. More specifically, it's all depends on if you can get there before she bleeds out and heal her. And he won't be able to be able to get up there and shoot him in the same turn, so I'm leaving him right there. An assault person is not ideal for... or won't be able to make it there. I know there's no wall right here, but I don't think anyone that would be able to do anything would be able to see them in time. ready to uh kill. Oh she bled out. Wow. Buddy, you picked one of the wrong people. Oh god, his time years have gone. You picked another person. Oh god, this is just all going wrong.
that grenade takes care of him, and I just realized that this is a corner. Hopefully he can snapshot him. Nope. Okay. Well, sounds like someone died. Alright. First things first. You are going to heal her. Hopefully twice. Oh. Can only heal her once. Alright, when you heal someone, it's at most half of their entire HP, so you are essentially going to be stuck in here. We have already lost one person on this mission. We don't need another. You are a last ditch resort. Alright, so we got uh, no aliens still. Let's get behind this pallet here. Maybe glean some more information. Crouch. Alright, heavy weapons. You and. Medic. Uh, think about it. You can have that and that back. Yeah, as you can see, uh, item move cost is right there. All right, looks like the Rocketeer's last one to go. Gonna have him crouch and end our turn there. And then I'm think. Wow, that civilian has a gun. How American of him? All right, so we got another alien right here. This is a bit too far for her, and she's too low on time units to be able to shoot. Um, heavy weapons guy will unfortunately not be able to make it. But he can get far enough where he might not be in danger. I don't know why I'm having just those to explore. We've got three different groups of two. It's not the most ideal. We'll just have him around the corner. Um, shit. I suppose he should explore this area. And just as I expected, there's no aliens. But we are going to have her move up. Snipers can be extremely invaluable. While well, they're going to explore that, him and the Rocketeer can be ready to explore this other area. It's not the best idea to. Oh, there's the ship! not the best idea to spread out, but right now they kind of forced my hand. That's the only one that... Yeah, if you look down here, you can see the different uh, people. The red bar is their health, green is their time units, and blue is their bravery. Usually I like to see which ones have the highest uh, green bar, so I know if I have moved them or not.
But her, I'm just leaving at the ship because I don't want another death. Yeah, that guy does have a gun. Alright, so. Alien went over there. I'm hoping I have enough for it. I don't. Although I will have these two at the ready for it. If he pops up again. I'm going to have this guy check this area out. And there's one right there. So, I hate to do this because it seems like cheating, but I'm actually going to save before I try this. Because, like I said, I really, really don't want to lose another person. Let's see how... Alright. Burst was successful. That does take care of all of his actions, though, so he is done. Besides that, we'll get the shield out here to check out this area more. left is the sniper and I'd ideally like her being that distance away from the shield so oh yeah unfortunately snapshot doesn't ex exactly always work but uh, since it didn't and he was fired at and he is still alive then there's that train thing in the way. I was going to say I was going to wreck his day. But apparently I can't. Well, we can see if we can do that with him. We did wreck his day with him. And with our new found um, safety, might as well put him in a safer area. These two are going to try to pepper this guy. Oh. Well, there you go. He can move one space. Need to reserve that anymore because we just need to get up there. Yeah, cover is your biggest concern. And I'm somewhat confident that there's not going to be a lot of aliens in this upper area, so I'm going to have my sniper try to catch up with the rest of the team. My shield, however, I'm going to have explore. Yep, that'll do it. We'll just have all these guys reconvene. And those of you have, which is just the scout, that's already there. We'll just have you uh, ready your weapons. Excuse me. Right. All right, let's
looks like that's the corner of this area of the map. Wait. Ah. I was gonna say, if I were to stub one square over this one, I could actually look into the window of the building to be able to see if there's anyone there. Thus not make me exposed. Alright, so that's the end of this turn. We'll leave her there. We are going to bring her over there for right now. Have a crouch at the ready. Because we still don't have everyone we want where we want them to be. shield still has yet to check everywhere else. Very boring move, but uh, in my opinion, necessary. Preventive measures. So, now we'll set everyone up into place. Have a ready a aim shot. We'll get her a bit closer. I think we should have him... Hmm. Maybe right there, with a burst ready. And then, to get this party started, let's blow a ship up. <laughs> wow. You know, honestly, I would've thought that'd blow it up. Because, yeah, in the original XCOM, and I thought in this one, there was a environment that you could blow up. Alright, so, they're at the ready, they're at the ready. Going to ready them for a burst. She's got an aim shot ready. We'll get him out of the way for right now. So if someone does come out, they're ready to open fire. I'm pretty confident in the last area that I haven't explored. There are no aliens, so we're going to try to get him closer. Why are you in our ship? That's really creepy. So yeah, um, yet another precaution. We are going to save again. I try not to do this a lot, it's just I am get extremely nervous. And we got two of them right now, so... First things first, try to use the least amount of weapons you can. Alright, luckily he was able to kill him. But the one that's embedded is going to be much, much harder, as you can see. In fact, I need to get here, and I don't think I'll be able to... Nope, I won't even be able to shoot him. Well, I could, but it's not going to be as a good shot. And it's also having my sniper available. Yeah, I don't like that. In fact, let's be stupid again. You cannot fire at my sniper, right? Or sniper. There are <laughs> that get you killed. And as you can see, we have our assault that did survive. 
she was wounded and she's going to be wounded for 18 days she got a medal and we got five people promoted all right all six aliens killed one casualty on my side uh, two people in the local forces survived but one civilian did not and we got more destruction excellent all right so now we're going to get the ship back to the base and after that we're just going to call it from there all right we're going to do a save and I just want to say thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and if you really enjoyed the video if you want to give a like or a share or subscribe that'd be great in my opinion all right you have yourself a good day. Goodbye.